केस नंबर एट क्या था सर रैम बेसल रैम बेसल ओके तो उसके हमने तीन चार फॉर्मेट्स कर लिए थे हाँ जी सर लाइट्स को इंटरचेंज करके राइट राइट इंटरचेंज करके करेक्ट ओके तो वी गोइंग ऑन टू केस नंबर नाइन नाउ ऑल राइट केस नंबर नाइन so i am now coming back to uh, rule number 18 okay now i'm coming back to rule number 18 and uh, i am trying to do rule number 19 in detail rule number 18 sorry in detail so the first line says except where 9 10 and 13 otherwise required what is the meaning of this line except where 9 10 and 13 otherwise required iska kya matlab hai anybody in the class sir so the rules given in this are not applicable in rule number 9 10 and 13 sir so, rule number 9 10 and 13 will be given priority if we are to compare correct. both of them correct so rule number 9 10 and 13 will prevail over rule over 18 that means narrow channel tss overtaking will prevail over rule 18 requirements that is the meaning of this that means you have to give them priority not rule number 18 as a priority so therefore rule number 18 tells me that a powdered vessel must keep clear of the four types of vessels and you see ram fishing and sailing so therefore if i have a same situation and i have so therefore this is my vessel power drain vessel and i'm doing six knots and i have a vessel b she is a fishing vessel and she is doing eight knots risk of collision exists whose duty is it to keep clear sir vessel a power in this sir b power taking so that is how this line will you do you do read this line very carefully overtaking rule will prevail over rule 18 normal circumstance a powered vessel was supposed to keep clear of a fishing vessel but yes, but this fishing vessel happens to be rule number 13 overtaking situation she is doing eight knots i am doing six so who is going to keep clear b Not a. Is this okay with everyone? Yes, sir. So my action is going to be maintain course and speed. Give five short and rapid blasts to attract her attention. She still does not take any action, and I'll be forced to take action. So I'll go to port. Port goes to port. Two short blasts. Is the action by A okay with everyone? <coughs> yes, sir. All right. And I am doing this as per this line, except nine, ten, and thirteen. Otherwise required. 
So fish. So now this vessel, I'm making it as a sailing vessel also. Same action. This is a NUC. Same action. This is a RAM. Same action. Is this okay with everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is your uh, adaptation of your case number nine picked up from rule 18, the first line. Okay, next. Same case number nine continuing. Same rule 18 continuing. It says over here that powder and vessel shall be so sub sepale kata PD vessel will have a duty to keep clear out of. Uh, and you see ram fishing sailing then it goes on to say sailing vessel shall keep out of the way of sailing vessel as a duty to keep clear out of and you see Ram fishing. Then it says a fishing has a duty to keep clear of NUC or RAM. Okay, here the clear. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, I'm now coming to 18 Delta 1. So 18 Delta 1 says any vessel other than NUC or RAM, any vessel other than NUC or RAM shall avoid impeding the safe passage of a vessel CBD. Any vessel other than uh, NUC or RAM. So I have a situation. This is a vessel CVD. All right. And this is a NUC or a RAM. Which vessel will alter course? Or uh, which vessel will give way? Let me put my question like this. Which vessel will give way? Will take action? B. Sir, B. B, sir. Sir, no one, sir. Hmm? Yeah, what? Hey, vessel B is the giveaway. Vessel B is the giveaway? Yes, sir. Sir, vessel A. Decide karo. Achhe tariye se padho pehle. Please read 18 delta 1. Then answer. Vessel B. So, 
the uh, I don't know how your reading vessel B will take action. She is a new C or a RAM, sir, right? It is clearly safe circumstances of a case admit. Avoid impeding a safe passage of vessel constant by a draft. Hmm. So she is a new C. What action will she take? Tell me. Think. You are saying that B will take action. B will take action. She is a new C. Yes or no? Yes. पिछले वाली बार पिछली बार जो मैंने आपको दिया था जिसमें NUC overtake कर रहा था उसमें NUC अपना reduce कर सकता है but अब situation अलग है अब CBD जो है वो reduce speed करेगा वो action लेगा as per 18 delta 1. So, 18 delta 1. Vessel A will take action for Bravo. Okay with everybody. Yes, sir. Any doubts in this? Kisi ko doubt hai, toh please clarify karo. Thik hai? Clear hai? Okay. Yes, sir. Abhi, isi line ka mein 18 delta 1 ka ek, ek aspect aur chhed raho ab. Ab supposing bravo nahi hai. Okay. And खाली चार्ली है and Charlie is a fishing vessel अब between A and C who will take action C C C will C C will take action everybody agrees on this A will take action sir A will take action और अब हम ब्रावो नहीं है अब हम अल्फा एंड चार्ली की बातें हो रही हैं वी टॉकिंग अबाउट अल्फा एंड चार्ली सर ए विल टेक एक्शन ए विल टेक एक्शन दैट्स टी वी फिर से डेल्टा 1 पढ़ो इट सेज एनी वेसल अदर देन एनी वेसल अदर देन नॉट अंडर कमांड एंड रैम वेसल अदर देन एन यूसी और रैम मतलब फिशिंग वेसल की बात कर रहा है। Shall avoid impeding the safe passage of a vessel constrained by drop. इसकी ड्यूटी है इसको इम्पीड नहीं करना। तो कौन एक्शन लेगा? C. Charlie. Charlie लेगा ना एक्शन। A कैसे ले सकता है? तो अब मैं इसमें और कैटेगरीज ऑफ वेसल डाल रहा हूँ। सीलिंग वेसल डाल दिया। अब कौन एक्शन लेगा? सेम 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 बिल्कुल ठीक और इसी में मैंने एक वेसल और डाल दिया पीडी वेसल अब कौन एक्शन लेगा? सेम सर सेम तो सो एनी वेसल अदर देन एनयूसी और रैम मतलब पीडी वेसल सेलिंग वेसल फिशिंग वेसल कोई भी हो सकता है when you talk about A versus C, if they encounter a CBD, they are duty bound to take action as per 18 delta 1. 18 delta 1. Charlie will take action. For alpha, ये clear हुआ कि नहीं? हो गया सर। ये clear हो गया। Very good, very good. Okay. So ये जो 
लाइन दे रहा है कह रहा है अवॉइड इम्पीडिंग द सेफ पैसेज इसका मतलब है चार्ली हैज अ ड्यूटी नॉट टू इम्पीड चार्ली हैज अ ड्यूटी नॉट टू इम्पीड अल्फा पीडी वेसल हैज अ ड्यूटी नॉट टू इम्पीड सीबीडी ये कह रहा है Is this line understood by everybody? Yes, sir. I am reading 18 delta one. मैंने उसी को इस abbreviated version में लिख दिया है. PD vessel Charlie has a duty not to impede a vessel A, which is a CVD. अब ये क्या कहता है अब मैं 18 डेल्टा 2 पे जा रहा हूं वेसल सीबीडी शेल नेविगेट विद पर्टिकुलर कॉशन हैविंग फुल रिगार्ड टू हर स्पेशल कंडीशन अब सीबीडी की बातें कर रहा है ये क्या करेगा ये एज पर 18 डेल्टा 2 सीबीडी विल नेविगेट विद पर्टिकुलर कॉशन सीबीडी का रोल आ गया ठीक है इज दट ओके ये एटीन डेल्टा वन एंड एटीन डेल्टा टू की कहानी है एटीन डेल्टा वन talks about duty not to impede so dnt a it in delta 2 talks about nwpc navigate with particular caution and this is the onus of a cbd कम टू एटीन एक्ो नाउ एटीन एक्ो से सी प्लेन ऑन द वॉटर शैल इन जनरल कीप वेल क्लियर ऑफ ऑल वेसल्स एंड अवॉइड इम्पीडिंग देयर नेविगेशन इन सर्कमस्टांसिस हाउर वेयर रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एग्जिस्ट शी विल कंप्लाई विद द रूल्स ऑफ दिस पार्ट सो सी प्लेन असेंशियली विल हैज अ ड्यूटी टू कीप क्लियर ऑफ ऑल द शिप्स and in case risk of collision does exist then she will comply with the rules of this part and then she will take action so if there is a sea plane versus a fishing vessel sea plane will keep clear fox trot one wig that is a wing in so a wig craft is basically able to fold its wings in or to the ground you know so a wig craft basically uh, uh, when she is taking off on landing she has got her wings out and when she is in water and then she is uh, this thing then she becomes like she takes her wings in and she becomes a normal floating vessel so 
or wig craft when taking off or landing and in flight near the surface shall keep well clear of all the vessels and avoid impeding their navigation. And uh, when she is operating on the water surface, she will comply with the rules of this part as a powdered vessel. So she'll be treated like a PD vessel, a wig craft. Now we're coming on to is number ten. Is number ten. केस नंबर टेन उसको समझने से पहले सो केस नंबर टेन सो लेट्स टेक द केस ऑफ सीबीडी This is a CBD, and uh, this is a range ring. These are the range rings. Okay, and. This is vessel A. This is vessel A. This is vessel Bravo One. Then the next position of Bravo is Bravo two. Next position of Bravo is Bravo three, and the next position of Bravo is Bravo four. So Bravo one, two, three, four are successive positions of the same vessel. Ek hi jaaz hai, which is a PD vessel. एंड ये सी बी डी है ये जो सर्कल है दिस इज सर्कल वेर रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एग्जिस्ट ये वो डिस्टेंस है जहां पे रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एग्जिस्ट करता है ये जो दूसरा सर्कल है बीच वाला इसको हम नाम दे रहे हैं क्लोज क्वार्टर सिचुएशन और ये वाला जो सर्कल है ब्रावो फोर इसको हम नाम दे रहे हैं इन एक्सट्रीमिस In extremis, ये हमारी सिचुएशन है तो B1 वन पे हाँ जी थर्ड सर्कल कौन सा है जो सबसे पास वाला है B4 है वो सर्कल को आपने क्या नहीं लिया वो क्या 
This is in extremis. I N E X T R E M I S. In extremis. So this circle is ROC exists. This circle is close quarter situation. This circle is in extremis. Next please. Now, Bravo 1 se shuru karte hai. Bravo 1, at this stage, is ki kya responsibility hai ya kya hai? Ye kya koon sa rule lagayega? 18, Delta 1. AD Delta 1 क्या कहता है? QT not to impede. अच्छा, इस वक्त Alpha क्या करेगा? क्या लगाएगा रूल? 18 Delta 2. Navigate with particular course. So for Bravo 1, duty not to impede applies. For Alpha, navigate with particular question applies. So Bravo 1 kya karega? Can he go to starboard? The answer is yes. Can he go to port? The answer is yes. Is this understood by everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bravo one can go both sides. Why? Because ye can go anywhere. It is to do it. Action to take. Duty not to impede. So, at this time, what will it do? It will maintain course and speed. Because it is taking action. Le He is going to navigate with particular caution. He'll keep watching her, but he'll maintain his course and speed. Supposing Bravo One ne action nahi liya. Situation Bravo Two pe aa gayi. Alpha kya karega? Five short and rapid blasts. To attract his attention. Okay. Now risk of collision exists. Okay. Risks of collision exists. Ab ajao. Rule number 8 Foxtrot pe. Come to rule number 8 Foxtrot. Rule. Eight fox trot. Eight fox trot one kya get a vessel which by any of these rules is required not to impede the passage or safe passage of another vessel shall when the circumstances of the case required take early action to avoid sufficient sea room for the safe passage of the other vessel. मतलब किस किस वेसल को रेफर कर रहा है ये पावर ड्रिवन वेसल पावर ड्रिवन वेसल बी सर वेसल बी करेक्ट उसको रेफर कर रहा है कि जिसकी रिक्वायरमेंट थी ड्यूटी नॉट टू इम्पीड में भाई तुम एक्शन लेना चाहिए था तुम्हें सो so, Power driven vessel versus CBD. Power driven vessel is applying rule number 18 delta 1. CBD is applying rule number 18 delta 2. Power driven vessel 
as a duty not to impede. CBD has a to navigate with particular caution. Now, what duty not to impede? What does it mean? This explanation is given in 8F1. What does 8F1 mean? Not to impede vessel, which is a powdered vessel. है, not to impede vessel, which is a powdered vessel, है, will take ASAP action. As soon as possible action. Jaldi action lega. Jo bhi kaam karega, jaldi karega. Powder in vessel. Phir 8F2 pe a jau. A vessel required not to impede. Again, not to impede vessel ki dousri kaani. 8F2. Yeh kya kehta hai? ये कहता है अगेन नॉट टू इंपीड वेसल जो कि जल्दी एक्शन ले रहा था इज नॉट रिलीव्ड ऑफ दिस ऑब्लिगेशन मतलब ही रिमेंस अ गिव अ वेसल इज नॉट रिलीव्ड इफ अप्रोचिंग द अदर वेसल सो एज टू इन्वॉल्व रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन इफ आरओसी इज यस वो गिव अ वेसल ही है and jab ROC exist karta hai, he will take action as per ROR. 8F2 ye kya hai? Will take action as per ROR. So, yahan pe aajata hai 8F3. 8F3 kehta hai, a vessel, the passage of which is not to be impeded, yani ki CBD vessel. So CBD kya karega? Jiska to passage impede nahi hona tha. Remains fully obliged to comply with the rules of this part. That means, will also become a giveaway vessel. Yeh bhi giveaway ban gaya. When two vessels are approaching one another, to so as to know all. So, when ROC is yes, she will also become a giveaway vessel. Ab, ye sari situation me, dono jahazu ko giveaway bana diya hai. To, kehta hai, action as per ROR. Ab, Bravo 2 kehta hai, bhaiya, mein to iske starboard side pe hoon. Mein to action as per ROR le raun. She is a giveaway as per rule number 15. I am a stand on as per rule number 17. Action is as per ROR. So she should take action. So, as a case is bought sare away 90s may just may accidents away. Uske bad. IMO ने एक resolution निकाल के clarification निकाली और ये clarification जो है ये जिन लोगों के बस बंडार करके किताब है you open up page number 95 जिन लोगों के पास बंडार करके बुक है please open up page number 95 और 96 Excuse me, sir. Engine Loan ke pass me Captain Puri ki book hai. Please open up page number 5960. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Sir, aapne kaha ki bravo kaha ki I am taking action as per ROR rule 15. But rule 15 is about two power driven vessels. Abhi us pe aarai hai na. Usi pe jara hoon. I am just coming to that now. So, open up Bandarkar book. Page number 9596. After Annex 4. The page after Annex 4. Yes, sir. I am a guidance. 
IMO guidance for uniform application of certain rules. और यही सेम गाइडेंस कैप्टन पुरी की किताब में पेज नंबर 5960 में दी हुई है वो पैराग्राफ फॉर्म में है अच्छा अब ये आईएमओ गाइडेंस क्या चीज है तो देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज आईएमओ गाइडेंस ये पॉइंट नंबर 3 था पॉइंट नंबर 4 सो आईएमओ ने गाइडेंस दी IMO guidance for uniform application of certain rules point number 3 can somebody read point number 3 for me please so this is clarification of the implication implication of the word not to impede as appearing in rule 9 bravo charlie and delta and rule 10 first part and j and 18 delta taken when up sir i read the explanation also yeah that's right when a vessel is required not to impede the passage of another vessel such vessel shall so far as possible navigate in such a way as to avoid the development of risk of collision if however a situation has developed so as to involve the risk of collision the relevant steering and sailing rule shall be complied with okay to kehta hai not to impede vessel jo hai she will navigate in such a way so as to avoid the development of a risk of collision if however risk of collision is yes then normal steering and sailing rules will apply normal steering and sailing rules ka kya matlab hai that means rule number 15 16 17 will apply is this okay so not to impede ka kya matlab hai avoid a risk of collision if however roc is yes normal steering and sailing rules apply matlab rule 15 16 17 applies matlab jab risk of collision ho jayega So she will be treated like a normal powder vessel. So for this particular vessel, she will be treated like a normal PD vessel. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen will apply. Now situation here also comes in. Some other. So this point number four comes in. now come to same imo guidance point number 7 <coughs> okay please read point number 7 clarification of the relation between rule 18 delta and rule of part bravo yeah. section second and third a vessel constrained by her draft shell when risk of collision with another vessel in a crossing or head on situation exist apply the relevant steering and sailing rule as a power driven vessel she should when showing the signal prescribed by rule 28 have a engine ready for immediate maneuver and proceed at a safe speed as required by rule 6 so so cbd vessel ko kehta hai ke cbd vessel 
in the event of risk of collision developing in a crossing situation or a head on situation will be treated like a normal powder and vessel. And in case she is showing you those lights of CBD, she must have her main engines ready for maneuvering. That means she should be able to change her speed. Stop engine, go stern, etc. And she should in any case be going at a safe speed. That means she should be going at a reduced speed. अब ये सारी राम कहानी को हमने इस सिचुएशन में अप्लाई करना है दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू डू अब कैसे अप्लाई करोगे तो बी वन तक ठीक चल रहा था सारा कुछ इसकी ड्यूटी नॉट टू इम्पीड थी लेकिन इसने एक्शन नहीं लिया ब्रावो टू पे आ गया रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन एग्जिस्ट So now she is a giveaway. She will also becomes a giveaway. So can she take an action, or she take an action? That is the big question. So what will she do? Bravo two. Bravo two will give. Five short and rapid blasts to attract her attention. A does not take any action. She will give one short blast or to close to starboard. One short blast or to close to starboard. Can she auto coast to port? Answer is no. Seventeen Charlie comes into play. As per seventeen Charlie, she can only auto coast to starboard. And this she is doing as per eight F one and two. As per eight. F one and two. ये समझ में आया कि नहीं? Is this clear to everybody? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So. She be alpha becomes a giveaway vessel. Bravo is also a giveaway vessel, mind you. Bravo cannot say my stand or no. She remains a giveaway. Once a giveaway, always a giveaway. So both have become giveaway. Let us say both don't take any action. Position B three comes. Again, this guy can alter course to starboard, cannot alter course to port. CBD will have main engines on stop. Main engines on stop. She can go hard to starboard. Both don't take any action. We come to B four. At B four, you are in extremis. In extremis, का क्या मतलब है? Collision हो के रहेगा. Collision. is imminent collision is imminent ho ke rahega 
main engine strong. Cholesterol, hard starboard will be your action. Under any circumstance, don't go to port. You can only go to starboard. Not go to port at all. Collision is imminent. Main engine stop, full is turn, mm -hmm. hard starboard. Sound general emergency alarm. You need to sound a general emergency alarm. Rig portable fenders. Rig portable fenders. CBD will go full stern. She in any case had her main engines ready. Rig portable fenders. Take the first impact. as far forward as possible. Haji, now you can ask me any questions. Take the first impact. Hanji. Take the first impact. Take the first impact as far forward as possible. Matlab, ke ye takkar honne ke wari hai. To is tarikhe se lo taake right jitna collision bulkhead ke aage le sakte ho impact. Wahan pe lo taake collision bulkhead ke aage hona chahiye. कोशिश ये करनी चाहिए कि कोलिजन बल्खेड के पीछे मत आओ सर भाई एनी चांस सीबीडी रुकी नहीं चलती रही तो क्या कोलिजन फॉरवर्ड बल्खेड पे लेने के लिए ब्रावो को ऑडिटर कोर्ट से करना पड़ेगा ब्रावो तो अपना स्टॉप इंजन और फुल स्टर्न कर ही दिया उसने जब वो फुल स्टर्न करेगा तो उसका बाओ ऑटोमेटिकली स्टार्बर्ड को स्विंग करेगा राइट हैंडेड प्रोपेलर ओके so therefore, that is the situation. Anji, tell me. So Bravo engine stern के साथ hard starboard भी दे देगा ना? Bravo engine uh, stern के साथ hard starboard भी देगा. Okay. Bravo engine stern के साथ hard starboard भी देगा. Sir Bravo में controllable pitch लगाओ propeller तो वो तो port जाएगा stern जाने पे. नहीं CPP की बात मत करो. Don't talk about variations to all this uh, because it's not an unginat. If you talk about bow thruster, this is the same thing. I don't want to get into that discussion because there are many probabilities that exist. The basic aim is this of how you execute it using twin propeller. So, I will do a question for one head. I will not do that. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, if this driver is passenger vessel, then, sir, same will apply to us, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passenger vessel, there is no special vote. There is no obligation. Okay, sir. 
passenger vessel does not get any special ticket as far as uh, ROR is concerned. Passenger vessel is a powdering vessel, just like you and me. Our ship is a cargo ship, which is a powdering vessel. On the contrary, the uh, passenger vessel should be more careful because it's got so many lives on board and uh, so many responsibilities on the master of that vessel or a passenger vessel. So he's got a lot of uh, uh, he's got a lot of uh, uh, careful cargo to carry. His cargo is a very funny cargo. His cargo keeps moving all over on the ship. Center of gravity keeps changing. Passenger vessel man. And very dangerous cargo, sir. And very dangerous cargo. IMDG cargo. Hai. कहीं पे भी चल पड़ता है। Suddenly वो वो sunbathing के लिए ऊपर चला जाएगा छत पे, top deck पे। तो kg of the vessel will rise, gm will come down. Yes, sir. तो बड़ी समस्या है ये तो। जो राह चलते चलते gm जहाज की कम हो जाएगी। Yes or no? सोचो। Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, क्या करना क्या क्या करना चाहिए ऐसे जहाजों पे जिसकी जीएम ही कम हो जाती है सर सबको रात को सर डिनर में दवा देके सुना देना चाहिए सर बट हाउ डू यू प्रिवेंट एवरीबॉडी वुड वांट टू गो ऑन द द टॉप डेक सनबेथिंग के लिए अब क्या करो व्हाट डू यू थिंक हैपेंस ऑन दीस शिप्स बिकॉज़ ये जेन्युइन प्रॉब्लम है करेक्ट और नॉट सर एमरजेंसी अलार्म बना के सबको अंदर कर देंगे सर सबको अंदर कर दो थोड़ी कर सकते हो वो पैसेंजर है भाई तो पैसे नहीं देंगे फिर तो व्हाट इज डन ऑन दीस शिप्स टू प्रिवेंट दिस फ्रॉम हैपनिंग शिफ्टिंग ऑफ कार्गो बताओ Securing of cargo. Securing of cargo. Can <laughs> secure? Lashing, kar denge, sir. <laughs> Lashing, kar doge. Bhai, kuch to hoga tarika. Ye dhoond ke bataoge mujhe. Bond table. sign hoti ya? Koi paper sign hota? There is some kind of a bond that they are not allowed to hoga. Uh, they are yeah. not bond to hoga. But my question is, how do you prevent the Passenger from or not prevent me. What is done practically on a passenger ship so that the kg of the vessel does not change drastically at sea on, on a passenger ship? And so, therefore, the GM does not change drastically. Sir, ये भी हो सकता है certain location पे certain amount of people और certain number of people ही allow किए जाएंगे। तो क्या चीज़ है वो? This is what I want to know from you. So limited आप... number of seats on top deck for some matter. तो चलो अब आपके ये homework है। Sir वो engineering system चालू कर देंगे sir वो जिधर भी जाएंगे sir। सबको hose hose लगा के पानी में मारेंगे हैं मतलब ये ये सब शुरू कर दोगे? So find out all this and the ugly class will discuss karenge. Ye aapka homework hai. Find out passenger ship pe kya hota hai. What is done to prevent the passengers from all from going on to the top deck so that the GM should not decrease. What, what are the measures? So Please let me know in the next class. Okay? Please find out. Achhe tarike se research karo Google mein. Google Baba zinda baad hai. Find out from passenger uh, people who have served on passenger ships. Find that out if you know somebody. Pata karo jara ye chakkar kya hai. How to do it? Sab apne tukke ukke maar rahe ho abhi tak. Genuine batao mujhe. Thik hai? Chalo. 
see you okay bye thank you sir thank you thank you sir we'll discuss thank we'll take you, this point uh, forward in the next class from this point thank you, sir. all right all right see you bye